In this tutorial, we'll look at using text frames in a publication. Text frames are containers in which the main text for your publication is stored. In PagePlus, the text inside the frame is called a story. To begin, we'll select Standard Text Frame on the Tools toolbar. Then, click where you want the text frame to start and drag out on the page. Dynamic guides will appear to help you position the text frame correctly. Now you can add text to the frame. Either type your own text into the frame now, or copy and paste it if you've already got some text prepared. To illustrate the difference between frame text and artistic text, let's resize the text frame by dragging on the resize handles. As you can see, only the frame changes size, and not the text within it. To find out more about artistic text, Check out the first video in this series, Text 1 Artistic Text Basics. It's possible to present large blocks of text in columns. This looks professional and also makes the text much easier to read. To add columns, ensure the text frame is selected and then increase the frame's number of columns on the Text Frame Context toolbar. In PagePlus, it's really easy to select different parts of a story simply by using the mouse button. Double click a single word to select it. To select a whole paragraph, click three times in quick succession. If you want to select all of the text, either quadruple click or hold down the control key on your keyboard and press A. You can also select portions of text by clicking with your mouse to create an insertion point and then dragging. The text will become highlighted to show that it is selected. Frame text can be formatted in exactly the same way as artistic text by using the Text Context toolbar. Here, you can change the text size and choose a font. When you're happy with the formatting of your text, you can optionally make it a text style for future use. This will automatically format current, other, and new frame text in just a few clicks. To do this, first select your text and then open the Text Styles tab, which is located to the right of the workspace. Next, right click the Body Style and choose Update Body to match selection. Updating the text style has caused the text to overflow. These icons at the bottom of the text frame indicate that the story is overflowing and no longer fits the frame. At the moment, PagePlus is storing this text in an invisible overflow area. You can now choose either Auto Flow or Overflow. Clicking Auto Flow allows PagePlus to automatically create new frames for the text to flow into. In this example, we'll choose Overflow to manually add the text to new frames. You can see that the cursor has changed. This means that the overflow text will be placed next time the mouse button is clicked. I can't fit any more text on this page, so I need to add a new page. I'll do this by clicking the Add Page button on the Pages tab. To place the overflow text, position the cursor where you want the text to go, and then click once. The text will appear on the page. If I shorten the text frame, you will see that the text overflows once more. To remove overflow, you can resize the text frame instead of starting a new frame. Before we finish, let's look at adding a picture in line into the text frame. First, we click in the text frame where you want the picture to go. From the Picture flyout on the Tools toolbar, click Import Picture. Navigate to your pictures and then select the one you want to use. Then click Open. Depending on the size of your picture, PagePlus may prompt you to shrink it down so that it fits the frame. Here, click Yes. Your picture will appear in line in the text frame. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning about text frames and how they can be used to help you effectively manage text in your publication. To find out more about PagePlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching!